How are you doing? My name is Oscar Moran and I work for AC Beyond. And today's video we're going to talk about the fuses, transformers, main voltage and the hopefully the control voltage. But first of all, remember we had the wiring that I ran before, right? We had it with, let's say, 120, right? Now, but one of the things that I would like to mention that each power, every power line usually have the you know, voltage has a fuse on. Okay. Now from here, this is going to be called the primary. We mentioned before. Primary. Okay. And in the bottom is going to be the control voltage. Okay. Now introducing the <laughs> introducing the first one is going to be the transformer. Transformer is going to be like so. This is the symbol for the transformer. Okay, the transformer usually looks like this. Has two wires. This is a 110 uh, 40 VA, and the secondary voltage is 24. Meaning that the primary voltage right here. This is your primary. Okay, primary. And this is going to be 120 volts. Okay, and this is your secondary. And it's going to be 24 volts. Okay. Now each um, this size of a transformer is 40 VA. Now to be able to protect the uh, transformer, what you want to do is you want to divide the secondary by the VA. Okay. Meaning that let's say on this transformer it's 40 VA. I mean 4 ampere. So you're going to divide 24 into 40 which equals to 1.6 so let's put that here yes I heard you so okay so 1.6 okay what are you talking to me sorry so what happened was so what I'm trying to say that the transformer you have to protect it okay Different sizes also we have. It's uh, let's say if your transformer is 50 VA or 75 VA, I believe this is 2.1 and this is 3.1. Okay, meaning that this right here it's the fuel size that you want to use to protect the secondary trend of the secondary of the transformer. Okay, the primary is already fused up, but that's for the main voltage and all of the you know all of the equipment. Okay, now. Let's say, uh, let's okay, fine. So this is already protected, right? On one side over here, um, so it's gonna be R, and this is common. That means R means power, and this will be, you know what? So you just put it here, common, and let's put it here, R. Oops, sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, this is R, okay? And this is common also. So anyway, so now they have different types of transformers. Like I said, this type of transformer is it's called a step-down transformer. You have usually there's two types of transformers. You have the step-up transformer and the step-down transformer. In air conditioning, we usually deal with the step-down transformer. Okay. Now on the uh, they have different type of transformers. You have one of them is a multi-tap. Let's say that you're gonna have a black wire. And the white wire because this is white and this is black okay it will be 120 then you have the other one is going to be black wire with this is black with uh, red it's going to be 208 you have a black wire with an orange wire be 240 then you have another black wire Another black wire with red, with meaning that lines are red. Actually, what? I do have it. I'm going to have a black wire, and you have red stripes on it. It's going to mean it's a 460. Okay. Through, well, they try, this is a multi-type transformer, so the meaning is that 
the black wire, and this is white, so this will be your common, right? So the same black wire, which will be this one, and the red wire will be 208. So you have another same black wire, meaning the same thing over here, the black wire, and the orange will be 240. Another same wire. The transformer, have, the multi-tab is going to have one black wire. It's not that all of them are, you know, have so many black wires. Only have one black wire. So you're going to have a black wire, and then the other one's going to be black, black and black with red, meaning that if the primary is 460, you're going to hook it up into the black wire and to the black wire with red. If the unit is 240, 208, or 120, depending on the wires that you want to, you know, depending on the color of, of the uh, primary that you want to use. Now remember that we usually use is a step down. So this is a, a step down. Okay, transform. Okay, transform. Okay, so okay. So so far we have the primary voltage. This is a secondary voltage. It has. I'm going to put a fuse over here and, and the wall, the color also from these wires, they usually, most of the time, either you put your own colors here or you should have, uh, let me see, it's a red, no, it's blue and the other one is yellow. Most of the time, time you have, all well, two of them are blue, okay? But this one right here, usually this is your common and this is your power, okay? Like I said, some transformers have them, um, colors on them. Some of them are like this. And then, it's, uh, like I said, it's a 40 VA. And to fuse it up, it's a 1.6. Remember, what I did was I divided the secondary by the VA, okay? Which means uh, volt amps here. And it's the type of transformer, how much we can stand the amperage going through. Now, if you have more amperage going through on the system, you might want to get a bigger one. You might want to get a 75 VA. Okay, it depending. Like, you know, then we go to service call. One of the reasons, maybe uh, somebody changed the transformer, put a smaller transformer, and you have no idea why you know, everything's going bad, and blowing the fuse. Could be the transformer, or could be later on down the road, could be something else. Okay. Okay, let me erase this one. And so far we have this one. Okay, so. Okay. Okay, we know, well, you know what? We have, we know that there's a step down transformer, we know it's a VA, but there's a secondary, and we leave this like this. Okay? Now, we already know that primary, it's a primary voltage, it's something like the transformer. Meaning, primary will be the main voltage. So, main voltage, control voltage. Now that we have that, we're gonna have today. We're gonna introduce. We're gonna have to go with. You know what? I'm gonna throw in a relay, also. And we're gonna put Y1 here, G, and common. Now this here is gonna be inside your air conditioner. Okay. You usually see a strip that looks like this. Okay. And outside, you're going to have our Y1 G com. Now, this here, the same as this one, is going to be your thermostat. Okay. Down the road, we're going to find out the easiest way to find out where the problem is. The problem is inside the air conditioner or outside the air conditioner. That technique is pretty good, it's pretty useful once you learn how to use it anyway. So on the transformer, okay, um, we're going to use, for now, we're going to use the R wire. We're going to hook up into R and we're going to go with, with G, okay, and also with common because coming up to come back, okay. Now remember, this is your terminal strip. And this is your thermostat. Later on, we're going to talk about a thermostat. But for now, we're going to concentrate on a simple thing. Now, we're going to do. We know the common goes here and goes to here.
here. Okay, common wire is right here, so it's here. But now what we want to do is we want to put, let's say, we're going to put a coil here. You know, actually, we're going to do it with the uh, easier. Yes, we're going to put a coil. Okay. Now I'm going to use, let's suppose you use this relay, but coil from here to G, coil. And from here, let's just, what we're going to put is, we're going to put a set of contacts here. Uh, we're going to, you know, we're going to put a light bulb for now. So you buy it, because we're going to change it afterwards. Now, on the thermostat, when you press it, let's say you want to put it on, um, usually it has auto and on on the um, it says fan okay we're gonna put an on on is just a switch okay so in, inside here it's supposed from R in here it's gonna look something like this okay thermostat like that okay it's a switch so we're gonna close this as soon as you close this we're gonna energize this one you're gonna put it on it says mm, put an F on it Okay, so this is F1, F2, and this is, that's it, just for now. So, on this one, we're going to, as soon as we press G, G is going to adjust the coil, the coil is going to close the contacts, and we have to visualize what's going to happen. So we know that close is going to energize, it's going to close the contacts, so the contact is going to close, it's going to close, and the light is going to come on, okay? I need for you guys to... Pay attention the way we're using this for now, okay? We can use also a contact. Contact them might be easy if you want to. Contact us, see the power is here. One, one and two is one and two. And then when it goes power, oh, I'm sorry, one and two. So power is going to look like this. And when it rises, it closes. See? One and two, and then this is this one and this one. It's going to go into the coil, okay? So, I mean, to the light bulb, I'm sorry. So for now we're going to practice on this because we need to know how this works because later on we're going to remove the light bulb and then we're going to put something else in there. So little by little we're going to try to, you know, understand the way this works, okay? Uh, I think that should be it for today and then um, don't forget to subscribe on uh, Instagram and also on YouTube, right? Thank you and take care, bye-bye.